Hello viewers, it's fucking awesome. And in this video, I want to show you how to use GIMP to create thumbnail images for your videos just like the one you're looking at right there. Now, if you're a regular viewer or subscriber to my channel and you're looking for gameplay videos, don't worry, I uploaded the gameplay. Uh, I don't mind if you stop the video and click off. Go ahead and look for this thumbnail and you get to watch the actual game itself. But if you're a fellow YouTuber or you're a content creator, and you stop by because you want to learn how to use GIMP to make thumbnails for your images, then stay tuned and we'll jump right into it. Now first of all, you're going to need the right fonts. Let me just quickly show you how to get the fonts and where. Go to dotfont.com. Now when choosing a font, you want to choose a font that has big blocky letters. That's what's going to really show up and pop when the thumbnail is small. And this font, particular font here, is Kremlin font. It's a font that I use with the game Hawken. This is another font that I like to use, Call of Opt Duty. Like I said, the fonts have big blocky letters and they really show up well when the image is smaller. Now I was browsing around and I found these two other fonts, Motion Control and Up Butlers. They have really nice crisp letters big and blocky so they're gonna show up really well I recommend getting these as well okay let me talk about the size the thumbnail needs to be so I typed in best thumbnail size for YouTube and hit search now according to YouTube or Google they recommend having a resolution of 1280 by 720 with minimum width of 640 pixels be uploaded in an image format such as JPEG, GIF, Bitmap, or PNG. They want it to remain under 2 megabytes uh, in size and try to use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio as it's the most used in YouTube players and previews. Alright, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and open up a new canvas and we'll use the settings that they just told us 1280 by 720 pixels um, and hit OK. So it's going to give you a, this canvas right here. All right. Next thing you need to do, next thing you need to do is choose a background image. I've got an image prepared. Just drag it from your folder and drop it onto your canvas. Now you'll notice that the image is larger than your canvas, which is a good thing because it gives you a little room to play with the image. You can actually drag it and move it around and kind of put it on the canvas where where you want it. Now what I like to do is resize the image because I try to use the full image. So go to this tool here, scale tool, click anywhere on the picture itself and make sure this chain link is connected. Right now it is connected, I'm going to disconnect it to let you see what it looks like. Make sure it's connected so that the height and width stay the same. So go ahead and click and drag anywhere in the corner of the image and just pull it towards the center and it will start uh, resizing the image. Of course, you can pull it out to enlarge it. Click on the circle to reposition the image onto the canvas. Now, let me see. I think we're going to go with this right here. Just putting it in the corner. And I'm going to hit scale. Okay, so basically I wanted these two mechs um, in the image. I didn't really care for that one. And the silhouette or the back of these two guys is okay. Alright, so now that you have your background image set, you can go ahead and put the text in there. So go to your text tool, this black A. Click on the canvas, hold and drag and draw a box. Now you can always resize the box, so don't worry about that. Change the font. I'm going to use Kremlin. That is the font that the game uses. And let me change the uh, color of the font to white and just type in the name of the game. Hawken. Now the K is reversed on purpose. That's why I'm using the Kremlin font because that's uh, how the game does it. So, like I said, you can resize the box at will by grabbing this big square here on any corner and once you're done just 
go to the uh, the move tool here now when you're moving text around okay you have to grab the actual text itself you have to click inside the text and sometimes when the text is or or the image is really small uh, you're grabbing like the background image and the background image moves now when I first started using GIMP uh, it was driving me crazy because it was kind of like small text I was trying to grab the the text but I kept grabbing the background image so that's something that I wanted to point out to you the viewers uh, when you're moving text around make sure you grab inside the text all right and also for thumbnails you want to stay off the edge of the image at least a quarter inch because YouTube will cut off the thumbnails if they're right up against the edge like this one all right so any corner of the image itself stay about a quarter inch off of the edge of the image okay so I like that position there um, so the name of the game is Hawken I've got the title of the game in there I want the title of the game mode which is going to be deathmatch so let me change the font to Kremlin again and let's go with maybe red let's go with the bright red and type in deathmatch oh it uh, I lost my settings hold on let me type it in here and I'm gonna highlight it and change the font to Kremlin change the color to bright red and then increase the size here okay. now I'm working with the Kremlin font so let me change the E to a forward E there we go deathmatch alright I'm gonna now let me reposition again grab inside the text and reposition it okay so I like that position I'm actually gonna move the uh, word Hawken so I can kinda center it on top of the uh, word deathmatch and just eyeball it alright that looks good there okay so now I have the name of the game the name of the game mode and now what I like to do is have episode numbers so I like to put my episode numbers in this corner here because if you'll if you remember um, YouTube puts the timestamp in the right hand corner so you typically want to stay away from the right hand corner and you typically want to stay away from uh, the, the center because there's going to be a center play button but I've noticed on different um, websites they put their uh, timestamp you know different places like the opposite corner and things like that so uh, that's just a general rule you don't have to like uh, follow that 100% of the time all right so I like to use the pound sign and this is going to be episode 45 for me let me highlight it and change the font to Kremlin let me use white so it kind of matches the name of the or it matches Hawken and then I'll just increase the size and let's see You know, I don't like the look of these numbers. <clears throat> so let me change it to Call of Ops Duty. There, I like the look of this number here. And actually we can increase the size now that it's a different font. Okay, click on the Move tool to unselect. I think we can get it just slightly bigger. Because it is a thumbnail, so you want these things a little bit bigger so it's easily easily read when it's a small smaller thumbnail so that's about good enough <clears throat> alright so let me position it down in the corner staying about a quarter inch off of each edge and we'll leave it just like that okay so typically Typically, you'll look at this and you'll think, okay, now I'm done. I've got the title, I've got um, the game mode in there, any other descriptions in there, 
and you know you would save it as either a JPEG or a PNG and then you would upload it right <clears throat> no <laughs> no we're not done yet okay right now believe it or not the word Hawken deathmatch and the number 45 is actually um, a little bit difficult to read to make it more uh, easily read you want to put the black outline around um, all the letters and the numbers okay so I want to show you how to do that let's start with the word Hawken so we're gonna go over here and click on the word Hawken in the right hand corner here and then right click on it and then go to alpha to selection <clears throat> that selects the words only then you want to go to selection and you want to hit grow and I've got it already set to five I like five but you can increase it or decrease it to your likes hit OK and it actually grew the selection like I think by five pixels is what it means so once it uh, once you hit grow then you want to go to this option here it says create new layer and add it to the image so click there to create a new layer make sure that layer is a transparency and hit OK once you've created that new layer you want to go to the uh, bucket fill tool and it already has black in there and then you want to just uh, click anywhere on the word any any letter in this word and it will fill the entire selection with black then you can select uh, go to selection and go uh, choose none now so the black is sitting on top of the white letters and what we need to do is send that layer below the Hawken layer so just hit the green arrow down and there you have it Hawken is now highlighted in black and I don't know if you can tell but you should be able to see that the word Hawken is actually easier to read okay <clears throat> now if I went too quickly let me show you on deathmatch how to do it again so we're gonna go to deathmatch click on it right click on it and go to alpha to selection then we're gonna move over to the selection tool and we're gonna grow that selection by five hit OK then we're going to go to this option here and create a new layer duplicating that layer make sure it's transparency which is going to be default just hit OK go to your bucket fill tool and click anywhere on the word and fill it with black unselected <coughs> excuse me and then send that layer below the uh, first layer so just hit the down arrow and there you have it Hawken deathmatch and you should be able to see that it is easier to read okay one more time in case I did it a little too fast I'm gonna do it with the uh, episode number 45 all right going a little bit quicker click on 45 right click on 45 go to alpha to selection selection grow by 5 click OK duplicate duplicate the layer by choosing this option here it's going to be default to transparency so hit OK go to your bucket fill tool it's filled with black click anywhere in the letter or number I'm gonna hit the pound sign this time it will fill it with black then you have to unselect it selection none and then click the green arrow down to send it below okay and there you have it that is actually uh, now for me that is finished uh, I like the way it looks I've got the name of the game I've got the title of the game mode and I've got my episode number so let me talk about saving this image in the different formats and this is one thing that was confusing to me when I first used GIMP okay so GIMP has its own file format which you will access using the save save as and copy as features now you'll use these to save it like as if you want it as a template so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to save this as Hawken template 01. Okay, so now that I've saved it as a template, I can load this back up and I can drop any image that I want onto the template. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I just did and it's covering all these letters but if you make sure you highlight the image that you just dropped and then you send it below you start to see 
the power of a template. So you can have your words set up and all you have to do is maybe adjust the, the title of the game mode, change the actual episode number. But if you like the title of Hawken, it would stay the same. <clears throat> um, you can readjust the size of the image to make it fit. Make it a better presentation. Hit scale. Okay. So, like I said, you can have this as a template. We're not going to use that one. We're actually going to use this one here. Okay. So, that is the save as, and I like to say save, save a template. But we don't want templates right now. We need actual um, images that we can upload to YouTube. So, that is the export, export as um, option here. So I like to go export as and it's going to be instead of a template it's just going to be Hawken thumbnail and my episode number Hawken thumbnail episode 45 and right now it's set to PNG but if you select here you can access the other file types such as JPEG, uh, GIF or bitmap. <clears throat> But of course we want PNG and hit export. It's going to bring up this window here. You can adjust these uh, values here for the compression level. I'll just leave it at 9 and hit export. Okay, so that was my tutorial on how to use GIMP to create thumbnails for your videos. If you found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Please leave your comments under the video. I would love to hear your comments. And as always, Subscribe to my channel for more great videos and I'll see you next time.